When Republican Will Hurd announced he wasn't running for the U.S. House again, his most recent opponent, Democrat Gina Ortiz-Jones, was favored to take the seat. Instead, a little-known Republican won the U.S. Congressional, Congressional District 23 race. Tony Gonzalez beat Jones in the swing district. Democrats were hoping to grab. And as Eyewitness News reporter Vanessa Croy explains, Gonzalez is ready to take on Washington. Well, this was a big win for Tony Gonzalez. He took 21 of the 29 counties in District 23. And from the beginning, Gonzalez said he knew it was going to be a tight race, but he was ready to put up a fight to win the largest swing district in Texas. Look, District 23 is as tough as it gets. District 23 spans from San Antonio to El Paso, including 29 mostly rural counties and over 800 miles of the U.S.-Mexico border. And then we have the toughest race in Texas, arguably one of the toughest in America. The Navy veteran and father of six took on the Democratic frontrunner Gina Ortiz-Jones, who narrowly lost to Will Hurd in 2018. And with no political experience, Gonzalez had already beat out nine primary candidates, including a fierce runoff with Raul Reyes. What has always got me through life is being resilient, is no matter what the obstacle, uh, just keep plugging away. Gonzalez said winning this race was about connecting with the people of District 23. Is this district is over 70 percent Hispanic and the messenger matters. You know, Will Hurd did a fantastic job. But I'm Mexican-American, I have six children, I'm Catholic, I'm a 20-year combat veteran. I resonate with this district. And the little-known Gonzalez went in ready for a battle. Ortiz Jones threw punches at Gonzalez, accusing him of wanting to eliminate protection for pre-existing conditions. Look, my voice is always so raspy. It's not because I'm a nighttime singer. It's because I deal with a pre-existing condition. So, I, of course, I will always protect that. And Gonzalez wasn't phased that the Air Force veteran outraised and outspent him during the race. You know, people have told me my whole life, you can't do this, you can't do that. And my response has always been the same. Watch me. Vanessa Croy, Ken's 5 Eyewitness News.